Hi, right, we're here um, after the Barnsley game with the lads with James Ward, Dave Bailey. Um, firstly, uh, the boys went over to um, Barnsley yesterday. Dave, uh, what was the experience like for the boys going over there? Uh, yeah, it's an experience. It's terrific. You know, Barnsley Football Club uh, over the other side of the Pennines, a Championship club that are looking to go forward, certainly under the guidance of Keith Hill. Their facilities at the academy are, are first class. I always remember their facilities fondly when I used to take the academy teams over there. They're, they're very, very good facilities. So the experience was great. The hospitality was good. Uh, they took us to pitch side. Um, and as one of the lads described the ground compared to the Reebok, it was quite cute. So, yeah, the, the whole experience was great, fantastic. You know, the lads loved it. And um, how important is an experience like that for the lads who are in on the programme? Yeah, massively so. It just goes to show the depth and the wealth of the programme and the enriching, you know, enriching environment we've got and, and what we can give them and the pathways and the opportunities that are there. You know, the academy guys from Barnsley came and watched uh, and did kind of mention about one or two of the boys and, and we're looking to play them again. So yeah, it's a, it's a massive experience. It's great for the programme and it just goes to show the strength of our programme. Good. Uh, James, on to the game now. Um, you've been working hard. Uh, you told us in um, training about shape and uh, roles and responsibilities. Um, and in the first half, it seemed like uh, the boys really responded to that. Yeah, certainly. Um, looking back on the video that we've got of the, the game this morning in the office, um, it's evident to see the shape was fantastic. Um, you know, Barnsley had a lot of the football, but we expected that. Um, but when we got back on the ball, um, we made use of it. Um, we created chances, and um, we were lucky to come in at half time at nil nil. Um, game plan worked so far up to up to the half time. Uh, were you happier um, coming in at half time at uh, at nil nil, or do you think you should have uh, you deserved a bit more? To be honest, we were a little bit disappointed not to come in one or two up. Um, the set pieces that I've been working on the training ground. Um, we're unlucky not to, to be converted, too cleared off the line, so yeah, I think we're, we, were, we were pretty disappointed to, to come in at half-time nil-nil, and that's the sign of um, the strength of the squad that we've got at the moment. On any given day, those two cleared off the line are in the back of the next 2-0, you're going into half-time 2-0 up, you know, it's game over in theory, so James is right, the shape, set pieces, their attitude, uh, the fitness levels, there was a lot of positives in them. Okay, um yeah, 16 minutes into the second half, you uh, went 1 0 up with a, a goal from uh, Changi, I think it was. Um, from that point, did you feel that you could hold on to the lead? Certainly, again, we were, we were pressing on, pressing forward. Um, we never looked in danger at the back, they never caused us too many threats. Um, and then you get the, the dubious penalty decision, which, you know, flips the game and gives. Emphasis on Barnsley after they converted it, and I think we had a spell of ten minutes where they really came, came and pressed us strong. Yeah. Okay. What were your thoughts there on the uh, penalty decision? I know it, um, it said that it was a dubious penalty decision. Um, Looking back on the video this morning that we've got, it's never a penalty. I think the the, the lads uh, felt a bit of contact and, and simulated and got. We were down. in first thing this morning looking at the footage. And we're not going to put that down, but it certainly had effect because we did lose a bit of discipline, which we're going to talk to the boys about. We lost a bit of discipline for a little while after. Uh, we let one individual get the better of some of our players. And then once we got back into the game, we just looked to go from strength to strength. But, you know, we're not going to judge it on the penalty, but it was a poor decision and one that in the end, you know, cost us really because we were coasting. We'd kept them to shots outside the box, we'd kept them very limited. They weren't getting in behind us, the shape held well. Everything was brought inside. We made it difficult. We made them start playing long, and we kept. We picked up the bits and pieces. We counter attacked very quickly. We uh, outshot them. We had more entries in the attacking third. You know the stats were much better. We only conceded two free kicks in our own attacking third. Um, so yeah, overall very pleasing. Ironically enough, from one of those free kicks came the, the decision from the referee. Okay, then the 89th minute, um, they obviously get a, a winner. Um, is that down to a bit of concentration with the lads, uh, fitness, or, or what would you put that down to? Lack of concentration. Um, you know, a ball should be dealt with in a, 
in a more confident manner and then we haven't reacted quick enough and organised quick enough for the, from the eventful throwing that, that came. Um, you know, 89th minute's always always a, a bit of pill to swallow conceding that late on in a in a game, but a big learning curve for, for the lads, you know, you've got to got to concentrate for, for ninety minutes plus. Um, and that's how you see out games. That's what we talked about really, the, the margin of error in that for all the hard work and huff and puff and everything, the positives we had came undone in a, in a moment of, of madness, a moment of lapse of concentration. That was the only lapse and it cost us dearly. Um, and obviously we're going to go through the game with the boys today, sit down with them, show them some of the game footage, but you know we're not going to browbeat them about that. There was a lot more positives than negatives and it's about now um, the, the, uh, the development game on Monday and it's about moving forward then to a big game uh, a week tomorrow where we play Preston North End so it's onwards and upwards uh, we'll put this one to bed this afternoon um, but uh, it just goes to show the training ground is paying off uh, it goes to show the set pieces are paying off and the, whole, the hard work that everyone's putting into the programme uh, is being rewarded on the pitch which is the most pleasing and what's going to be your one uh, message uh, when you get back out on the training ground um, tomorrow with the boys? What we've been working on um, in relation to the game yesterday? You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna look at anything, it's got to be that that concentration, that 89th minute when it when it counts. Concentrate. Um, you know, 89 minutes of hard work come down in in one in one moment. So, you know, we'll be working on seeing it through to the end, we work a little bit more on the team shape and we move forward like Dave said to Monday's game, we'll look if we can do that in that development game and then we'll take all that into Friday for the target game. Good. Any um, one player that stood out for uh, both of you yesterday in the game? I think mis myself, I don't know about yourself Dave, but Changi had a another good yeah, solid performance. You know, it was a good all round team performance. Um, Match grades wide, most of them were twos and threes. There was there was one or two below average in there, uh, and, a, and, a, and a concern if we're honest. Uh, but picking out individuals would be tricky after such a good game. You could pick any one across the back five. Yeah. You could pick uh, any one of the attacking players. You could pick anybody really. You know, Johan had a good game. Dan had a good game. Shaq had a good game. Uh, Johnny had a good game. Lee, the keeper, came in and did a terrific job. You know, it, it was very pleasing to see it as a collective group. And overall, you know, if we are conceding goals from decisions which are out of our hands and we're conceding wonder loops, flukes, whatever you want to call them, we'll certainly uh, achieve our goals by the end of the programme. Good development game on uh, Monday and we'll catch up with you prior to that game about that. Uh, what did the, the team as a whole have to do to the fringe players to come into the target game for a week on Wednesday? I think they need to slot in and, and keep that discipline in the, in the team shape. Um, that's vital and key moving forward, especially till, till Christmas. If they can show that, that attitude and that discipline coming into to that, then everyone's got a shout going into that Friday target to make that target squad on, on the Friday. Um, it's a big opportunity for some of the boys on Monday to show that they can do that. Um, but we've got every confidence they can they can come in and do that. There, there's places up for grabs oh, in that target squad because there were some below average performances yesterday, um, and some of the boys are really, in my opinion, and I know James and Mason agree that they're pushing to be in the target squad for the Preston game. The development squad's a big opportunity for them between now and the development squad. There's a training session from the development squad to the Friday target game. There's a lot of football minutes to be had, so there's no reason why those boys can't push in and, and get a place in the target squad. Superb, all the best in training this week, and we'll catch up with you again on Monday prior to the development game. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.